being a barista is not supposed to be a good job. It, it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. When, you know, somebody doesn't believe you that this, like, so where do you see yourself in five years? Like, well, you know, the coffee, making coffee. Like, yeah, but you, you, I know you'll have to be making coffee, but what do you want to be doing five years from now? Making coffee. I don't think that 99% of the coffee drinking population realizes that there are barista competitions. The only thing I can really compare them to is kind of like a, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a dog show, but it's, it's, it's a, a room full of people that are geeked out on uh, specialty coffee. These are, these are people that are, have taken coffee to a completely different level. So the rules of the competition are you have 15 minutes to make a presentation. The presentation consists of three sets of drinks. You start off with four shots of espresso, then you move on to four cappuccinos, and then you move on to four signature beverages. And you come up with the signature beverage kind of to complement your blend of espresso. And you're judged on basically anything you can imagine that's going on behind that bar as far as you know the way you grind the coffee, if you're using enough coffee, if you're using less coffee, if you're messy, if you're wasting coffee, if you don't put the coffee in the machine the right way and don't start the machine on time, just anything you can think of. You've got two guys standing over your shoulder basically watching everything you do. They will nail you. You can definitely tell if somebody has been practicing or not been practicing by looking at their technical score sheets. But it's a really complex profession too and it takes a lot of knowledge and a lot of skill to get it right. It's not quite as easy as it looks. I kind of believe in this American punk rock, like baristas should have tattoos and talk a little bit of shit. Who are the team? We're gonna go in. And, yeah. It's Team Victrola. Team, yeah. If one of us wins, then it'll be a victory for both of us. Kyle trained me. So everything I know about pulling shots, Kyle taught me. So if I do a good job, if I place or get or, or get any attention, whatever, it's thanks to Kyle. So and if Kyle, if I do that and Kyle doesn't, then then I think it's time for Kyle to hang it up, step and down, step down, and hang uh, up the spurs. I understand it's a competition, so people have to like have poise and and presentation and everything. But I mean, it's a you know, this should be about the coffee, I guess. Yeah, I, I, think it's I think the coffee, I think our coffee stands on its own. This is the ground floor of a movement that uh, has to survive. Baristas should be cracking jokes. It's like, you know, when we're here at the bar, we know people's, you know, life story when they walk through the line. We high five them and we talk to them like they're people, you know, and, and that is one of the amazing things about the American coffee bar. I feel like we have a reputation here for the coffee and there's a couple cafes that sort of have a reputation as like putting people through competition and stuff, which is great except for, I don't know if I would necessarily go to those people for um, a shot of espresso. Man, that's so fun. That's cool. Because, yeah, yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I've been training for about four or five hours a day here and at the shop where I work there's another machine in addition to the main espresso machine that I practice on. Um, four or five hours a day primarily on cappuccinos because they're kind of my weakness or just what I struggle most with. And I've never been so passionate about anything I don't think. You know I love so many things but this is something that I've dedicated myself to, I've sacrificed my life for, and yeah, you have to be crazy, I guess, but I don't see how anybody could not be crazy about it. Because <laughs> so if I won the breach competition, it would mean that the particular methods and, I don't know, if ideology is the right word, behind 
the way I choose to make espresso, the ways and the methods I use are acceptable and create a product. I mean that I've gained some sort of consistency in the artistic movement of creating espresso. And it would mean that another fight for good coffee had been won, I'd hope. Just educating baristas in general to value the product. Some of these beans, most of these beans were hand-picked from a tree to just be wasted onto a counter or be made into a poor cup of coffee that with just the slightest bit of knowledge, slightest bit of adjustment in technique can be made into infinitely greater product. But there's so much work and science that's already been done. There's, you know, there's a mathematical equation for the ratio of the size of this basket that the surface area to the depth is a certain proportion. Someone has thought of that. Well, I'd like to know why, but hopefully as I get smarter I'll be able to understand what these men before me have done. And women. I do, I actually do have a life outside of being a barista. I'm uh, a student at the University of Washington. I just began my junior year. And uh, I can't remember what else I would do. I ride a scooter and I go to the s school and I train for competitions. I really don't have much of a life outside of coffee. Vancouver is in a lot of ways uh, a city in the shadow of Portland. You have the culture of um, suburban neighborhoods, track home developments, strip malls and malls, and they value branding, they value image. Not a lot of the kind of community that we like to further, you know. Um, but Vancouver is changing. We are right in between two Starbucks. There's one in the Uptown Village area, um, further down on Main Street by Fourth Plain, and there's one, uh, there's one in the more the center of downtown around by the park. Sometimes it takes longer to educate our consumers um, because really what we're doing is presenting them a different set of values um, and making them aware of the differences between our business, our type of business, our quality, and what they might be comfortable with. Um, and it's a challenge that, that we enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I'm an underdog in, in lots of different ways. Um, because I'm unorthodox in, in some things. Being the owner of a very young business without a lot of financial backing and um, support, I don't have a team. I don't have the, the money and equipment that a lot of other people have. And I'm okay with that, you know. I mean, it'd be nice, but that, that puts me at a, at a small disadvantage. So we're very much okay being a little bit on the outside. You know, my life for the past four years has just been coffee. And, you know, it's the way it's always going to be for me. The day I die, it's gonna be coffee. Well, maybe I might have a family, but you know, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> okay, give me your back. Full. Cool. Awesome. I don't. Honestly, I don't even know why I compete. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is definitely not for the money. You know, uh, I just, I don't know, I, I'm so competitive in nature and I feel like I just, for my own personal satisfaction, just knowing that, hey, I won the national championships, I didn't come in third or, fourth or fifth or, you know, I don't know, I just always wanted to be the best or whatever I put my hand to. This isn't for me, this isn't uh, a job that's necessarily about me, you know, I mean, you know, I like making pretty coffee for people, who, but, you know, God, like, I don't know, I think it, maybe I know too much about people, about the farmers, you know, and I've only begun, I've only begun to really understand what's going on over there. I haven't gone to Origin yet, but it's just, you know, I feel like this is my way, this is, this is what I'm doing to help. You know, people have different fights, you know, some people want to save the whales, you know, some people, you know. Want a different president, you know, and that's how they're going to make a better world. You know, some people, you know, whatever. Everybody has their own fight, right? And for me, 
coffee just went by, I guess. Double Americano. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the awards ceremony for the Specialty Coffee Association of America's 2005 Northwest Regional Barista Competition. And the 2005 Northwest Regional Barista Champion is... Yeah! 